I wanted to make this video not to cover everything in depth as far as all the tools I use, uh, but just to kind of give an overview. I've already done in-depth videos on like how my studio is built. I've talked about the computer and the system I use, and I've got some tutorials on Caden Live. But I want to quickly run you through the whole like just quick rundown process and then link to the other videos if you're interested in learning more about what I do. So the basics of it is I start with a script to create a video. I write that script in my head. I just daydream out things and go, okay, what am I going to talk about? And I put it all together. Uh, if I'm doing something a little bit more intricate that's required a lot more cameras or more people involved, maybe I'll storyboard a little bit of it. But for the most part, I just write everything and memorize it in my head. Uh, that's my general process. Probably leads to me repeating myself once in a while and maybe I should use a teleprompter. I don't know. I've been pretty happy so far with what I've been creating. Um, but I'm always evolving and always changing, hence why I'm updating these videos. Now, the first thing you notice is this weird inception thing going on. That's because I'm using OBS Studio and I wanted to show that on uh, Linux. Specifically, I'm running Pop! OS on this particular computer. So that is how we capture when I'm in here in my little office that has some basic sound deadening, nothing real elaborate here. I'm using the Blue Yeti Silver, which is right here. Uh, this is my favorite setup, and the majority of my channel is tutorial videos. Therefore, sitting in my office uh, with my three monitors in front of me and the uh, Blue Yeti right here mounted to the wall, and then recorded on a Logitech HD Pro C920. This is like $59 here. Um, 117 and the OBS studio is free. So it takes very little to get started uh, doing this when you want to do tutorial videos like I'm doing here. There's also, I think there's a $12 light uh, on the other side. I just have a LED light that I picked up from Lowe's uh, plugged in kind of bouncing off the wall to create the ambient you see right here with this lighting. Nothing real elaborate, nothing real expensive. But we're going to move over to the studio to talk about how we do some of the other videos so I can give you the entire workflow. So here in the studio, it's a lot easier to film product reviews. I have a large table in front of me. I have an entire behind the scenes and details of how the studio is set up. But one of the real big advantages I have here is when I switched over to using the Stream Deck. Now, my computer does run Linux, Pop! OS, for those wondering. But the studio computer, where all this is being captured right now, is running Windows. And that's because of this. The Elgato Stream Deck and the OBS Stream Studio, great pieces of software, uh, just don't work well on Linux, especially this. There's some hacky ways to get it done. It just doesn't work well. So until that issue is resolved, I'll continue running Windows on the studio computer. It's really just a glorified capture device that records and is going to drop all the videos to my storage server in the back. Now the advantage again, if you didn't watch the full studio tour, is this. I can quickly switch uh, without, this is not an edit, this is a raw video being recorded from my laptop here and fed in and I can just switch between these two views with press of a button. I can also switch to overhead view and now you're seeing things right from the overhead. Now I have a couple different microphones sitting in front of me and what this does is lets me use the mics when I want to have more people wider. For example, when we record the How They Got Hacked live streams, one microphone that is just on the edge of outside a camera would only pick up one person really well, but the people further out would have a hard time. So that's when we use the microphones. Microphones all feed into the camera and some will point out you can feed the microphones directly in or I could get a USB mixer and feed everything into uh, OBS Studio directly. I know I can. Uh, it's on my to-do list to maybe switch things around but the nice thing is the when I have it in the camera everything's 100% in sync without any uh, you know where your voice doesn't match your lips moving and that's a real annoying thing to fix in post where you have to split the audio. Speaking of audio, no audio syncing is a huge part. So if you want to get videos done fast from take it from idea to published, that's part of the reason I do it the way I do it like this. Being able to quickly jump and say, hey, I got this idea I want to talk about. I want to talk about what's on my screen right here. Or I want to talk about a product and I want to show you something like, hey, look at this microphone right here. And then we can just jump to the overhead and be like, oh, there's the product he's talking about. And then, you know, I just press the button and I'm back over here. That is huge and keeping this all in sync. Um, so that's part of the reason I set up everything to feed into the camera. Um, and then the other devices, the overhead camera and the computer feeds are all just done with a couple USB, well, three USB captures. Uh, one for the overhead, one for the laptop, and one for the camera with a pass through. Like I said, I detail that out on my studio video. Now, what happens once the video is done? Well, we're going to press the stop record button right here that's blinking and we're going to show you the next step. 
And as soon as we stop recording in the studio, we are back in my office where we finish the production process. So here's what it looks like. This is a TV. If you go through my studio video that's uh, behind there, this is actually what I see, but we're remote controlling it. And uh, we just take the videos that get created here and we copy them over uh, and name them as we need to inside of here. So let's find the making a video. So we copy all the files from the studio computer, the Windows computer that captures everything, um, and drop them into a folder on my FreeNAS box. And that's actually where all the videos reside. I do that because one, there's a lot of videos. So if we go up a folder here and look, there is just a ton of videos that I have archived in here. And this is on a big RAID array, so it doesn't fail, or hopefully it doesn't fail. And uh, die and lose all my videos. It's also backed up a second time. I actually have a pair of these. Uh, so we have all this video, which I'm not sure how much I should keep. That's always a weird question because I, do, I have archives going back two years of video and I feel like I'm just hoarding it. I don't know. I don't really often revisit those old videos, but maybe one day I will. Anyways, so I cap copy them over to here. I usually name them. So this is how to make a video. And there's already a couple parts in here, part one, part two, part three. And that is me recording from here to the next one, to the next one, just labeling like that makes the workflow easy. I drag them over to, and actually we'll, if we started from the beginning here, uh, I have a basic template. So we'll go over here. And what this does is those overlays that you're gonna see at the beginning of the video, they get dropped down here. And we just take and drop these videos right into Caden Live here. And then we line them up, part one, part two, part three. We look for any spots in the audio where there's nothing happening, like the first couple seconds while I was getting started. Then part two, we were in a studio. Same thing, I actually had a false start. So as I uh, started, didn't know what I was saying, uh, coughed, changed. I'll trim that out and then this video will be done. And we're all said and done. We hit the render button and it's going to get uploaded to YouTube. But that's not the full process. There's next thing is got to make a thumbnail for it. So my video workflow, how I create video content. I just have these little templates pulled up. And if you want to know, this looks like this, open recent. I always name them the same thing. I used to create a template for every single one of them. And I realized that I never cared about the thumbnails once I created them. So basically I edit and copy paste whatever I'm going to put in here. Um, one of the other things I like to do is we're going to go ahead and I'm using Caden Live. So I can type like Caden Live logo, image search, settings. Transparent. Yeah, that looks like the right size logo. Copy image. Edit. New layer. There we go. So we'll put Caden Live across here as one of the tools I use. And you quickly, I build out a couple of things that go into my thumbnail like this. And when I'm done, I just export this out and upload to YouTube. And that's it. That's the whole video process. This process does not take me too long to do. And once the video is uploaded and I upload the thumbnail, that's it. I'm all set. The uh, YouTube content creation process done. I can go on about my day. So people ask, you know, how do you find time to do a lot of videos? A lot of it is having a clean workflow to get the videos done quick means I don't have to spend as much time on the videos. And that's why I wanted to make this video about how I make videos uh, to show that my flow is pretty fast on this. And this is my methodology, no secrets, as I always like to tell people. Uh, this is the methodology by which I go through writing and publishing uh, content for YouTube and other places I post it. Uh, and this will probably get posted to Facebook as well. Uh, but uh, feel free to share your comments, share your thoughts, uh, continue on over in our forums, uh, continue discussion if you have questions, suggestions, I'm always you know looking for ways to tweak this, ways to make it better. And that's why I also date these. This is my 2019 version. My 2018 version looks different. My 2017 version looks different, so on and so forth. I'm always looking to improve and keep the workflow as you know, tight as I can because uh, no one wants to spend time working. You want to spend time doing. It's way more fun. Thanks. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to subscribe to this channel to see more content, hit that subscribe button and the bell icon, and maybe YouTube will send you a notice when we post. If you want to hire us for a project that you've seen or discussed in this video, head over to lawrencesystems.com where we offer both uh, business IT services and consulting services and are excited to help you with whatever project you want to throw at us. Also, if you want to carry on the discussion further, head over to forums.lawrencesystems.com where we can keep the conversation going. And if you want to help the channel out in other ways, we offer affiliate links below, which offer discounts for you and a small cut for us that does help fund this channel. And once again, thanks again for watching this video and see you on next time.